Uh, good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us uh, this afternoon, evening. Um, I know we got a small crowd, but we got all the important people here in one spot to welcome Coach Blaine. Uh, before we get to the main event, which is certainly to, to introduce our new coach, I want to just take a minute to thank the search committee for all their work uh, throughout this process. Uh, Sean Dermody, our vice president, our assistant vice president for administration and finance, was the chair of the committee. I know they worked long hours at a very efficient pace, and we certainly appreciate all the work that they put into this. I also want to thank uh, former coach Tom Curl and the coaches that came before him for all they have done over the past 80 plus years to establish Cardinal basketball as one of the premier Division III programs in the country. We're extremely fortunate to be welcoming a coach of Mike Blaine's caliber to continue to build upon the successes of the past and lead Cardinal basketball into a new era. A John Hopkins graduate who excelled on and off the court, Mike understands and cares deeply about the NCAA Division III student athlete experience, which is critically important to our mission here at SUNY Plattsburgh. He is also an exceptional coach with a broad range of coaching experiences spanning from Division I to Division III. In addition to his role as Director of Basketball Operations at both West Point and James Madison, his coaching resume includes stops at University of Maryland Eastern Shore, Hampton, Sydney, Cornell University, where he has served as a four-year assistant coach, and most recently as the head coach at Madai College. He has enjoyed tremendous success in his time at Madai, winning two Allegheny Mountain Conference championships and leading the team to two NCAA tournament appearances. In addition to these experiences, and most importantly to me personally throughout this entire search process, was hearing time and time again from those that know Mike well, how he is recognized by all as a man of high integrity and exceptional character. Simply put, we are most fortunate to have found a terrific department member and a coach who will be an exceptional role model to our student athletes. Without further ado, it is my pleasure to welcome Mike, his wife Kara, and daughter Erin to Cardinal Country. And at this time, I'd like to turn things over to our new head men's basketball coach, Mike Blaine, to make a few comments. Well, good evening, everyone. Very, very excited to be in Cardinal Country. Uh, it's an exciting time for me and, and my family, and we are thrilled to be here. Uh, a couple thank yous uh, before I get started. Uh, as Mike Howard alluded, uh, I want to thank the search committee, uh, chaired by Sean Dermody, uh, for their time, their consideration uh, of my candidacy, because uh, I am thrilled to be here. I want to thank Brian Hartman, uh, Vice President, who I spoke with in great detail about this position and really admire his vision for the blend of student athlete experience here at SUNY Plattsburgh. I want to thank Mike Howard, our athletic director. In my time meeting with him, I was thrilled to find an administrator that understands what coaches go through and the experience that we're a part of and has an incredible drive and desire to lift Plattsburgh State Athletics to the highest levels. Special thanks to all the many athletics department coaches that I've had a chance to meet over the course of the last several days. Uh, I'm thrilled to be working with such committed staff members who are so invested in the success of student athletes uh, and the success of the programs here at Plattsburgh State. Uh, some personal thanks. I want to reach out and Thank my family. Uh, many of my family members could not be here today, uh, but my mom and dad, uh, my mom Beth, my, my dad Mike, uh, my sister Mary Kate, uh, my brother Dan, his wife Casey, my nephew Finn. Uh, they are back in the Washington, D.C. area, could not be here with us today, but their love and support means the world to me. Uh, my youngest brother Tim, who is overseas uh, right now serving in the Marine Corps, uh, but is very, very near and dear to my heart at all times. And my family has been a great rock and a great source of support for me throughout my journey and my coaching profession. And uh, I'm very, very blessed and very, very lucky to have them. Uh, my additional family, uh, my in-laws, uh, Bruce Peake, 
uh, Cameron Peak, my brother-in-law, and uh, my mother-in-law, Ann Peak, is here, and she's been doing a tremendous job taking care of my daughter, uh, Aaron, while Karen and I get settled and situated and adapted to the community and uh, looking around at houses and, and, and getting ready to embed ourselves in Plattsburgh. And last but not least, uh, my incredible wife, Kara, and my amazing daughter, Erin, uh, you are the greatest joys of my life. And moments like today are so special because I have you in my life. And I'm, I'm thrilled that we're gonna take this exciting journey together and step forward into a, a new chapter of our lives and, uh, and be a part of a, of a thriving community here in Plattsburgh, New York. I want to thank the current players in the Plattsburgh State men's basketball program, many of whom are, are here today. Uh, we had a great chance to spend, to spend some time last night and share some thoughts and get to know each other a little bit. Um, and I want to thank them for the outstanding representatives that they've been of this program uh, throughout numerous years of success on, on and off the court. Uh, these young men that I'm getting to know are, I can tell, are men of the highest character. They are young men who are committed to the high standards of Plattsburgh State men's basketball and who are committed to being successful in all of their endeavors in the community, in the classroom, and on the court. And I am thrilled to have the opportunity to coach them and thankful for so many of them being here to, to, to share in this moment. I was extremely excited to receive the call from Mike Howard to be the next men's basketball coach at Plattsburgh State. I have tremendous respect for Coach Curl and the numerous coaches that have come through the program year after year that have created such a high level of, of success and a high standard for this program in the community, in the classroom, and on the court. And I'm thrilled with the opportunity to write the next chapter of Plattsburgh State men's basketball with these young men before us. Uh, I was drawn to Plattsburgh State because when I looked from afar, obviously I admired many, many things about the university, but I think it's a place where you can truly educate young men and young women in the three most important phases of their life as student athletes, personally, academically, and athletically. The community is one that is open and welcoming to people from every walk of life. It's an academic environment that encourages growth and development and offers a wide range of options for scholars in any study. And athletically, it's a program that is as good as any, they come, any that you're going to find in the SUNYAC, in the East Region, or in the nation. And I'm thrilled to be the next men's basketball coach at Plattsburgh State because I don't believe there's any limit on what we can accomplish and what, we're, what we will accomplish together. So I'm very, very thankful to be here, very, very excited to get started with this group of young men, and very happy to take any questions uh, that you all may have. Uh, Coach, I'll start here. Um, you know, obviously this program has captured multiple conference championships. It's made some runs in the NCAA tournament over the last 15 years or so. Competitively speaking, I mean, what would you like the standard to be? Where, where would you like this team to be in the thick of things? Absolutely. I, I think that our standards are always going to be that of a championship mentality. Um, it's been proven every single place that I've been and every single program that you see be successful that a championship attitude and a championship effort comes before a championship is won. Uh, and the young men that I've had a chance to meet in this program know what it takes to put forth that championship effort. Uh, they have that championship attitude to hold themselves accountable to high standards. And if we continue to keep that l high level of championship attitude and championship effort, there's no limit to what we can accomplish. And, and I'm thrilled to have a chance to work with them and, and maintain the high standards that, they, that they've set for this program. And there's no reason to think that uh, we can't be uh, right in the thick of things. 
As far as uh, recruiting opportunities, we talked about this beforehand. You know, geographically, where we're located, we're not too far from Albany. You've, we've, you've got New England just east of us, Ontario, Quebec, up north. I mean, what, uh, what does that give you as far as uh, chances to go out and, and get kids here to Plattsburgh? Well, I think it's been proven that uh, outstanding student athletes uh, from within New York, anywhere in the state of New York and beyond, are going to be drawn to an outstanding program like Plattsburgh State, getting a chance to hear some of the stories of the young men in our program last night, where they come, you know, where they came from and what drew them to Plattsburgh State. You know, certainly a, a heavy diet of, of, uh, of student athletes from around the state of New York, but you know, West Virginia, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, uh, on and on and on. I think for the caliber of student athletes that we're gonna pursue, young men of integrity, young men of intensity and intelligence, it's not gonna matter where you're from uh, because you're going to be drawn to the tremendous opportunities uh, that exist at SUNY Plattsburgh and uh, an opportunity to compete at the highest levels uh, in the Plattsburgh State Men's Basketball Program. Going off the recruiting, what made you, what, what made Plattsburgh so, so attractive for you to work I think first and foremost, you, you get a chance to educate the young men in, our, in your program, and as coaches, we are first and foremost educators, and a chance to uh, help educate the young men and help them grow in their process personally, uh, academically, and athletically, and, and know that we can offer them the most, uh, the richest experiences possible in those three phases, and that there's there's no limit to the things that uh, the type of experience that you can have at student at, at, at Plattsburgh State, and as as a coach, you never want to. Go to a young man and, and, who, and his family as you're trying to bring them to, and, and to be part of your family and say, oh, I'm sorry, we just don't have that. Or, oh, I'm sorry, we're not going to, I'm not sure you're going to, this is going to work out. You know, every, as I'm walking around campus today, I'm seeing students from every walk of life. And so anyone is going to be welcome here uh, because of the great environment. I think any student is going to find something they can be passionate about studying here. And I don't know any competitive student athlete that wouldn't want to be uh, a part of one of the finest conferences in the country that, that has proven time in and time out uh, it's as good as anyone that it's going to come up and, and match up against and that there's no limit to, to what we can accomplish uh, here on the court as well. I know at Madai you guys played some non-conference games against some SUNYAC schools and you have some relationships with some of the head coaches within the SUNYAC. I mean, what, what can you say about playing in the conference as a whole? I think that there's not going to be a single easy night. Uh, I, I know top to bottom, uh, every program in the SUNYAC uh, has great players, has great coaches, uh, has a great approach, and I have tremendous respect for every program uh, in the conference. And I know that uh, the young men in this program know how hard they have to work and how much effort they're going to have to put in to their games individually and collectively to be successful. But I also know that Plattsburgh stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. And I have tremendous respect for uh, every program in the SUNYAC, uh, but I also know what Plattsburgh State is capable of, and I'm excited to, to, to face that new challenge head-on with this group of young men who are, who are truly invested in the program's success. This is certainly an exciting time for you. Um, you know, there's work being done in the future here to the interior Memorial Hall. Construction just started on the exterior. Does that only bode well for the future as far as getting kids here and, and building the atmosphere? I think anytime you're uh, you're able to witness growth in a program, it's an exciting time. As uh, as college students, you know these these four years are an exciting time of growth, and to see your campus and your home grow with you through that process is, is incredibly uh, exciting. It brings a lot of enthusiasm of, of what's coming next and, and what opportunities are gonna, we're going to be able to provide for the student athletes uh, in their experience. And so, uh, you know, getting a chance to, to talk with Mike Howard a little bit about uh, the project as it currently stands and, and next phases uh, for this year and, and even down the line has got me even more excited uh, than, I, than I was coming in the door, which, uh, w which is difficult to do. So I was, I was incredibly enthusiastic coming in, and then I, the more and more I hear about the great things that are going on at SUNY Plattsburgh, uh, you know, on campus and within the athletics department, uh, it's got me even more excited and, and uh, ready to see what comes next and ready to be a part of what comes next. You ever run across Mike Dean in your travels, uh, 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 James Madison? 
Uh, Coach Dean and I did not cross paths at James Madison, a couple staffs removed, but uh, I know uh, I, a good friend of mine, Marlon Sears, is a former uh, co-worker of uh, Coach Dean's and have great respect for, uh, for Coach Dean and, and his work throughout the years and a number of outstanding programs. He, started, he came here as a graduate as an assistant. Um, he had an All-American career at Potsdam. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, he went from here as an assistant to Oswego, to Siena, to Marquette and a couple other places, and uh, he's kind of a basketball legend around here. Not that there's some others too, you know, but uh, he's been around a lot. Well, it's one thing I can say is that uh, as I've done my homework on the Plattsburgh State program, uh, the number of great coaches that have come through uh, have come through this program and this university is staggering. And so, uh, one of the things that really has me excited is just uh, and honored really is to just have a, a small chance to write the next chapter in the very very storied history of Plattsburgh State uh, that I could you know have a small role in, in the great history of this men's basketball program uh, is is something I'm truly honored by and, and, and very very excited to, to have a have a small say in.